Hello, two weeks ago Brian left this comment under one of my videos. A suggestion for a useful project would be a color picker. Uh, some colors and combinations look great while others look very poor. To generate the RGB565 code on actual display would be great. Many thanks. Uh, thank you, Brian. I totally agree. Sometimes combinations of colors just don't work. Other problem is that colors on computer monitor looks different different than colors on TTGO or on any TFT display. So I made this little device which ca uh, which can help us to find right colors. I also made custom PCB for this project because this is something I will use very often so I wanted solution which is more perman permanent than breadboard, breadboard project. But you can also build this on your breadboard. This is not my first PCB for TTGO T display. I also made this uh, game console and uh, this calculator for TTGO. You can check these videos also. This device is uh, full of hidden features, but uh, first let's check PCB. I designed this PCB and I order it on PCB Way site. I'm very happy with their service, they are very fast. I received my PCBs uh, 7 days after ordering them and also they uh, included oh my god they included this pen to package and this nice Christmas ornament let me see where very nice ornament and also I ordered 10 PCBs and I received I received 20 so I'm not sure is that mistake or something but thank you PCB way if you want to order these uh, PCBs you can find link in description I shared this project on PCB way site okay how this works usually I'm using this site to find some interesting colors in a TFT ASPI library there is 24 built-in basic colors but in most case I need something different in this web app I need to choose color and to copy this hex number to my code. As you probably know, each color is a mix of red, green and blue. Well no, known RGB system. So with th these pots I can set amount, I always losing my zoom. I all I can set amount of each color. A maximum amount of each color is is two hundred and fifty five. So each color needs one byte or eight bits in memory. Uh, here is mix of these three color colors, and under is hexadecimal code so if I want this color I will just write this hexadecimal number in my code but there is always but we have a couple problems here colors looks different on different brightness of screen so this uh, push bu button is used to change brightness if I hold this button pressed I can change brightness of this display here is maximum brightness I will and you can see brightness value 
here. Brightness is also shown as 8-bit number or in decimal system a number between 0 and 255. Uh, next problem is color combination. In this case I'm uh, using white background and black foreground for text. So background is white and text is black. I can also see how other combinations of colors works using these two push buttons. So if I choose some color, okay, let's try to find something blue. Oh, this is some Arduino color. So with this push button I can set text color to be this color. And I can do the same for background color with this. So I don't know. Let's try black. Oh, this looks good. So now I can see how these two colors work together. If I want to return to to default sorry, to default black and white, I can use this built-in push up push button. And now I am again at black and white. This push button is also used I will try to set some colors for text for for example this if I press this uh, button I can get uh, code for each color so first is text color um, uh, next one is uh, color of background and this is color of selected color I will return it to white and black I used two same PCBs and these spacers and b between there is enough space for battery. Uh, I almost forgot to tell you this. Uh, these numbers, 2, 15, 13, these numbers represent uh, pins on ESP32. For example, this potentiometer is connected to pin 2 or this push button is connected to pin 26 which is here this is important to know when programming this device also it is very important to know that uh, one of these pins 2, 15 and 30 is used when uploading code to ESP so sometimes uh, there can be trouble with uploading code, but solution is to turn this potentiom potentiometer all the way to the left. And it will always work. And that's it. Simple device, but useful. You can check the description, code is there. Feel free to use it and play with it. Don't forget to subscribe and to check my other videos. In this project is if this project is helpful to you or you want to support this channel, feel free to buy me a coffee. Link is in description. I love coffee. 
stay safe stay creative please uh, if you watched whole video let me know in comments and let me know what you think about this video and this device i will see you very soon goodbye